feel like you saw from this group that leaves you encouraged in this last week or in areas where you still have to improve? Um, I mean, uh, I feel like uh, we're starting to get a little flow going. Um, uh, still need to improve on the defensive end, I feel like. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of uh, easy layups for them tonight. Um, open threes. Um, we got lucky because they missed some. And uh, yeah, I think, um, you know, that's our improvements and also just uh, trying to get limit second chance points. Where do, you, where do you want to see, uh, you know, you're going into summer, like, where do you want this team to, you know, get better at in, in the short term? Obviously, you saw some progress, but, you know. I mean, that's what I just said. Um, better on the defensive end. Um, Eliminating uh, the second chance points, um, stopping mis uh, miscoverages. Uh, and um, I mean, what we have seen is our turnovers are down uh, in the past two or three, I believe. And, uh, you know, that's shown some improvement. How are you feeling physically after getting through this stretch of games? Good. I was thinking about what you were saying tonight about how far you've come in 2016 and working away. Like, this is your third. Back to back, you and Paul played long scratch and second games together. Why are you feeling this good? What has it kind of taken to get to this point? I mean, everything. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, time. Uh, you know, a lot of focus on uh, just getting better. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, just been working at it uh, throughout the whole year, just building my legs, strength, getting stronger. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Is this as good as you felt since 2016? I don't know. I mean, I felt, felt great uh, running out of run uh, before I tore my ACL. Um, but uh, it doesn't matter about that. Uh, feeling good or not, um, i got to get some wins. I feel like you and Paul kind of there's been some people like at the end of the season when we're talking about that new rule for a reason there's always a picture of you and him. Do you think you guys are kind of showing people like that? Yeah, just uh, I, mean, I don't look at that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say about each uh, Like I said before, um, it was never about no, you know, rules. Uh, you know, I always want to play basketball. Uh, just about getting healthy, but um, you still got a long season to go. It seemed like you were starting to find something late uh, offensively, you started to find your legs a little bit in that fourth quarter. You got the first three quarters. Is that just what it seemed like? Or is that how it felt? Yeah, just found some uh, some rhythm, some consistency. Um, and uh, yeah, just, you know, legs were starting to come back and, um, you know, just trying to make plays. How would you approach um, this this game from a play mix standpoint? If you had season high assists or something like that, um, you know, like how did you want to proceed offensively? Uh, I mean, it's a big pack to paint team, um, and I was able to just get to the paint, find you know our shooters, um, and guys made shots. I remember from leaving San Antonio, you mentioned that with this five and seven, you're like we're ready to test what we got here. What, what do you think you have now that you didn't know before after this like, last five games? Um, I mean, every game is different. Um, and, you know, we're all just trying to figure out what can we do better. Um, this game, I thought it was just second chance. You know, energy guys came in and played great. Um, and that was the game. You know, I thought, you know, Steph's going to be Steph, Clay's going to be Clay. Um, Draymond's going to do what Draymond does, but I thought the other guys, um, you know, brought the energy. And uh, that's just something, you know, we got to match and we got to get better at going forward. And did you have factor at all, given the fact you guys played last night in Sacramento? No, that, that's, that's part of the game. What does it mean to you that, you know, not only did you guys get through this five and seven, uh, but like all the guys played, like all the rotation guys? They played every single game. The guys have been assuming that someone's going to miss time at some point. That they have to like, what do you mean? Not just you, the whole you know group that's been playing. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, everybody is is healthy, um, healthy enough. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, there's no no one, um, you know, kind of nursing the injury right now. Um, everybody's kind of. 
full on board to go out and compete. Um, and it's, you know, it's just, it's, uh, it's, it's good fortunes, it's blessings um, that we can be healthy enough to compete right now. Along with that, PG, uh, you know, you and Kawhi have played through three back-to-backs now. <laughs> this is actually the longest stretch of consecutive games you two have played during your Clipper tenure. Do you think you've kind of like maybe quieted whatever it is in the beginning of the season when that whole policy came out that it seemed like along with that, it was always a picture of you and Kawhi with that. You think you guys have kind of quieted that? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, we, that was never the case. I mean, you know, we had injuries that we were, um, you know, trying to keep minimal. Um, so I don't, you know, no one knows what we go through, what our body is. Uh, where our bodies is at, um, but they pin, pin that picture on us as if we were sitting games out because we wanted to. Um, we had stuff going on, um, and so uh, as of now, you know, we're, we feel good. We feel good. We're out there and, and we're trying to help our teams win. Kawhi said that this is the best he's felt since right before he got hurt in the playoffs, that stretch. Um, what do you see with him? He looks good. Um, he looks good. Um, but, you know, I saw it all the way during the summer. Um, I thought he looked great this summer um, from a you know, his body standpoint. Um, so I knew he was going to be in a good place to start the year. In terms of playing the game, it's obviously going to take time and patience, but what kind of areas of improvement have you seen already in the month you guys have been playing the um, uh, I Honestly, I think he's, you know, he's getting more and more comfortable. Um, and we're getting more and more comfortable, um, you know, with the process. Um, and so, you know, we got his back um, to allow him to be himself because um, that's only going to help everybody, um, you know. So I, I think that's just, you know, what we've learned, um, you know, that he's, he's you know, it's, I feel like it's uh, keep recording or playing the same tapes over and over. Um, we all know what it's going to take. It's going to take some time, uh, but we're all getting used to one another still, and you know we're having fun through the process. More than half of your games at this point have been close in the last five minutes for one reason or another. Obviously, we know the record in those games. Like, what is your what what is your level of like confidence, uh, attention to the team getting better um, in those close games and possibly turning it around? Um, it's just learning from them. You know, continue to be in those positions and learn from them. Uh, it's good that they're happening early, I guess. Um, that way, when we're in those moments, we're comfortable. Um, we'll feel that we've been there as a group, and uh, we'll overcome those situations. Uh, hopefully, when they matter. Um, but we know we do got to clean up some things down the stretch to get better. And, you know, going forward. I was talking to us about the targets he wants you guys to hit offensively, or the team wants to hit offensively when it comes to measure some points, three pointers taken. Um, you mentioned the last night that this really has to be about the defense for this team. Are there other defensive targets that you feel like are non negotiables for you guys, night in, night out, that you guys try to hit? Uh, rebound and second chance. Uh, well, I guess those go hand in hand. Um, and transition. You know, I think we can keep teams and half court sets, not give them easy baskets, um, and rebound the ball. Um, I think those are the two areas that we're struggling in, um, especially in losses and wins. Um, you know, it's glaring that we took care of those two. Um, and in losses, you know, uh, we've struggled. So um, those two areas, I think personally, is uh, I think what we gotta get better at. Thank you, Thanks. 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 Thanks.